The human vertebral column, also known as the spine, is a complex structure that serves as the primary support for the human body. It is composed of 33 individual vertebrae that are separated by intervertebral discs. The vertebral column plays a crucial role in protecting the spinal cord, which runs through a central canal within the vertebrae and transmitting forces between the upper and lower body. The vertebral column can be divided into five main regions, the cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, sacrum bone, and coccyx tailbone. Each of these regions has unique characteristics that contribute to the overall function of the vertebral column. Let's take a closer look at each of these regions. The thoracic vertebrae are the 12 vertebrae in the middle section of the vertebral column and play a vital role in supporting the rib cage, protecting the spinal cord, and allowing for flexibility and movement of the trunk. Each thoracic vertebra has a number of distinct features that contribute to its function. The spinous process, located at the back of each thoracic vertebra, protrudes posteriorly and provides attachment points for muscles and ligaments. On each side of the thoracic vertebrae, there are superior and inferior articular processes, which articulate with the adjacent vertebrae. The superior articular process is directed posteriorly and slightly laterally, while the inferior articular process is directed anteriorly and slightly medially. The superior and inferior costal facets, located on the lateral sides of the thoracic vertebrae, provide attachment points for the ribs. The superior costal facet articulates with the head of the rib of the same number, while the inferior costal facet articulates with the head of the rib one number below. The transverse costal facet, located on the transverse process of each thoracic vertebra, articulates with the tubercle of the rib of the same number. The vertebral body is located anteriorly to the vertebral arch and forms the main mass of the thoracic vertebra. The vertebral foramen, located in the center of the vertebra, contains the spinal cord. Above and below the vertebral foramen, there are superior and inferior articular facets respectively, which articulate with the adjacent vertebrae. The lamina, located between the spinous process and transverse process, completes the vertebral arch. Overall, the thoracic vertebrae are an essential part of the vertebral column, providing support and protection for the body's vital organs. The lumbar vertebrae are the five largest and strongest vertebrae in the lower back region of the vertebral column, responsible for supporting the weight of the upper body and allowing for movement and flexibility of the lower back. Each lumbar vertebra has a number of distinct features that contribute to its function. The spinous process, located at the back of each lumbar vertebra, protrudes posteriorly and provides attachment points for muscles and ligaments. On each side of the lumbar vertebrae, there are superior and inferior articular processes, which articulate with the adjacent vertebrae. The superior articular process is directed posteriorly and medially, while the inferior articular process is directed anteriorly and laterally. The pedicle is a short, thick, bony structure that connects the vertebral arch to the vertebral body, providing stability and support. The vertebral body is the largest part of the lumbar vertebra, providing support and stability to the vertebral column. The vertebral foramen, located in the center of the vertebra, contains the spinal cord and various nerves. The vertebral arch is formed by two pedicles and two laminae, which together enclose the vertebral foramen and provide protection to the spinal cord. The transverse process is a bony projection that extends from each side of the lumbar vertebra and provides attachment points for muscles and ligaments. The lamina is a thin, flat bone that forms the posterior part of the vertebral arch, helping to protect the spinal cord. Overall, the lumbar vertebrae are a crucial component of the vertebral column, responsible for supporting the body's weight and allowing for movement and flexibility of the lower back.